earlier. Gorgeous out there. Marblehead camera right now. It looks fake. But like a there picture. was some, yeah, there was something earlier that grabbed a whole lot of attention. Yeah, we want to bring in Chris for this a water spout. And you know, you've talked about these. I feel like every summer once or twice. Yeah, they happen more so mid to late summer as the lake water temperatures warm up. And I think this could be some of the most dramatic video that you're going to see all day long. Water spout that was reported just after 2 20 p.m. And I had hundreds of viewers really sending messages and videos and pictures of this because it was such a dramatic sight, a very narrow rope water spout that was in contact with the surface of the water. This one near Marblehead uh, from Kimberly Hamilton. But we had many other videos that were sent in to us. Take a look at some of these videos as well. This was a very picturesque water spout, very narrow, and it had some rapid rotation to it that did make contact with the surface. Uh, this was from Lori Stimmel. Really appreciate this. This was out toward Bayview, taken from her backyard. And look at it making contact with the ground. That's a speedboat kind of right Racing away from the circulation. This was just over toward the Bay Bridge, and you're going to see as we widen pictures uh, the picture out here. This is courtesy of Clemens Boats. Uh, they uh, out in Bayview capturing that very narrow water spout. It was quite dramatic. So let me give you an explanation. What is the difference between a tornado and a water spout? A tornado typically occurs from a supercell. It is a strong rotating updraft that carries a much higher sense of urgency. When we get water spouts, they are typically thermal circulation. That could just be winds that are rising or descending in the atmosphere that begin to rotate and it typically creates a rope appearance. Rarely are water spouts damaging or threatening. They can happen when we get warmer waters over Lake Erie and a brief amount of cooler air, at least a loft in the atmosphere, causes that rising and spinning air that occurs right around the Lake Erie shores that can and does create water spouts this time of the year. Some of the most dramatic video you're going to see of the day.